Well, hello folks and welcome back to the workshop today. Uh, this is the day after I recorded the last video and I've had a very pleasant delivery from Parcel Force uh, via EMS. So this is a stand for a motorcycle I have bought fairly recently. I'm not going to say what it is. I'll let you guess what it is if you can. Um, you probably will be able to. So this has not been opened yet, as you can see. Still completely wrapped up. Let's get stuck in. So, it's come from Japan. Bought it through one of the buying services over there. I used one called Remamble, remamble.jp or something like that. I've used it before when I did the RD project, I used it for that. Um, it's not overly cheap to do this stuff. The stuff's usually fairly, fairly competitive to buy. But the shipping's quite horrendous. So I think the shipping for this was about £100. Or $130. Um, but yeah, not great. But I can't find this sort of thing over here. So certainly not exactly as this one is. And we're slowly getting there. Judicious use of a razor blade here. There we go. Progress. Now, the shape is a little bit abnormal from most deliveries you would perhaps get. Ooh, there's a sneak peek. We have a sneak peek. Put that out of the way before I do myself some harm. Now, this does have some patina because it's <coughs> not new to say the least. Right, we can get rid of that box now. Goodbye. Be gone with you. What we have here is an original Honda stand, paddock stand. It is huge and it was sold by Honda in the, oh that's cool, in the late 80s and early 90s for a range of motorcycles and if you've not guessed it already, I don't think you're a motorcyclist to be honest with you. Clearly single sided, it's not going to fit a dual sided swing arm, it's going for the axle of a motorcycle that's single sided. Uh, and this is one of the original ones, um, you can even see that it's got all the Japanese writing and instructions for how to adjust it. So um, I am going to get that replaced because there is a reproduction versions of these stickers being made, there's a chap on eBay sells them like nine pounds, they're not expensive because uh, this one is a little bit weather beaten but I'm really I really don't know when I seen it in the pictures I was going to strip this and get it refinished repowder coated but you know what with a good clean and a little bit of tea cut apart from the old scratches I don't think that's bad at all as a, a yeah a couple of scratches in the paint where it's rusted a bit and so in here but to be honest with you, I quite like that patina. Now that is an overused word in the whole lot of of industry. The patina or something. But this, I think it would spoil this. Briskin jumping on the patina bandwagon here. It would spoil this to refinish it, I think. I really do. Now, you can look at the sort of triangulation they've got in with the supports here. Bear in mind, you've got all that weight of the motorcycle getting put right through this axle. The way this works is, this goes through the centre axle, you tighten up this nut here, and then it increases the size, if I go end on to you guys, it increases the cross section of this rubber bung, and then that then grips the inside of the rear axle. Now, that rubber bung is not new, so... I'll test it to see how much it deforms and then grips and if it's not enough I'll get it replaced I'll get a part made but I mean the bearings and stuff inside they're okay I don't doubt they could do with a bit of an oil but that's a sealed bearing unit that is not going to come out easy on both sides but it runs okay for, uh, for bear in mind it's not going to sit and spin away it's literally 90 degrees of spin as you put this on the bike and then lift it up and even if that bearing was to collapse I, I don't see the bike falling um, it would just make funny shapes as you take it on and off 
Uh, that's wicked. So, what I'd like you to do is tell me what bike this was originally, originally made for. It was originally made for two bikes and it was applicable to another two of the similar series. Uh, answers on a postcard, no, I'm not joking. So, drop a comment, like if you think it's worthy. Um, I've never seen one of these in the wild. I've seen them in pictures before, out of Japan, but I've never seen one. And I think I paid, apart from the shipping, I think I paid about 80 pounds for this. So, that's not too bad really. For an original one from, this will be 1989, uh, maybe earlier. Actually, Yeah, there's three answers this could be from originally and then applicable to another two. Drop it in the comments if you think you know what it is. And if I get some right answers, I will unveil the bike that I have here. Okay? Right, I'll cut one for today. Catch you later.